Let's become a pro in transformation orientation in minutes. We all know about global, it transforms the object using the world's coordinate system. Local transforms an object based on its own orientation. Let's rotate this cube randomly, now see how it moves along its own axis. Normal orientation uses the average direction of selected faces or vertices. To understand this better, let's go into edit mode, add a subdivision, increase the cuts, and move some vertices around. Now, when we move a face, it follows the surface direction of the selection. Next is gimbal, it's mainly used for advanced rigging and animation. It needs a deeper explanation, so I'll cover that in a separate video. View orientation transforms objects relative to your current screen view. No matter how you orbit around, movement follows your display direction. Cursor orientation lets you transform objects based on the 3D cursor's rotation. Let's rotate the cursor randomly. Now see how the object follows the cursor's axis. Let's reset the cursor now. Finally, we have parent orientation. I'll add a plane, rotate it, and make it the parent of the object. Now, if we use parent orientation, the object transforms based on its parent's axis. Mastering these orientations gives you total control in modeling, animation, and more.